Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will talk about how to multiply two polynomials in Galois field to GF of two. Okay, let's take an example first. Uh, let's say A is a polynomial x square plus x plus one, B is a polynomial x square plus one. Our goal is to find A times B. How do we do this using a program is what I'm going to talk about. But I wanted to give you an informal intuition first before going to programming, okay? What we can do is we need to visualize uh, this in terms of bit patterns, of course, right? So what is this? This is nothing but one, 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 okay? This is constant. This is x power zero, x power one, x power two, okay? This could be x power three, which is zero, x power four is also zero in this case. The reason I'm going to only select x power four is that when you multiply these two, x square and x square, you get x power four, okay? That's the reason I'm going to use five bits for, for the for the demo purpose here, okay. And what about this? This is x square and constant, no x term, no x cube, no x power four, okay. This is the bit pattern for the two polynomials. The question now is, how do we multiply these two polynomials, okay? So we will multiply by looking at the least significant bit, okay? So the least significant bit is turned on, right? This is turned on, that means, we will first take whatever we have in the current B and just put it as part of the result, okay? Because one times X squared plus one is X squared plus one and we will have it as part of our result, okay? The next step is the key. The next step is we will do right shift of A by one position. So, so currently the result is just B, right? Because we did one times B of X, which is just p of x, which means the result is nothing but x squared plus one. The next step is quite fascinating. We take a and we do right shift by one position. Okay, so when we do right shift by one position, what will happen? Where we are decreasing the degree of each uh, variable, meaning we're decreasing the degree of the polynomial. So our new a is when we do right shift by one position, our new a is x plus one, right? This is the new A. And what about the new B? For B, we do left shift, okay? So this is right shift, and now we are going to do left shift. That means the, the degree will be increasing by one. So we'll have this X square will become X cube, and this X power zero becomes X, okay? So this is a new B we got. And now we again write this in terms of bit pattern, okay, which is nothing but uh, zero, zero, right, uh, zero, one, one. And this is again, X cube, right? So it's zero, one, zero, one, zero, okay. And we look at the uh, least significant bit, which is turned on. Therefore, what we do now is we take, well, we know one times something is the something. We take that and add it to the result. Okay, so we only, original result is x squared plus one. We add it to the original result. So the new result is old result. Add means here exclusive R because we need to do in uh, GF of two. So what we do is we take x squared plus one and we do exclusive R with x cubed plus x. So we have a new answer. Nothing but x cube plus x plus x square plus x plus one. This is what we have currently. Okay. And next thing we do is again we go to the a right, right shift one more time. So your new a will be what will be the new a it will be just one. Okay. Because the right shift means this is going to throw away and this x becomes one. So the degree will decrease by one. And new b we are doing left shift. So you'll become x power four plus x square, which is nice now because in terms of bit pattern, this is nothing but zero, 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 uh, one. And this is nothing but one, zero, one, zero, zero. Again, we look at the least significant bit that is set one. That means we will take this and XOR it with the result. Okay, so new result is old result XOR it with B of X, which means we have x power four, x power three, and now pay attention. The x square, this x square and this x square will cancel out because it's two x square in GF of two is zero. And we have x plus one, okay? So we are still not done. And now the next step is we take A of x 
and do one more right shift. Now your a of x becomes zero at the time we stop because zero times anything is zero. So we stop there. That means we have traversed all the bits of a essentially that is the meaning of this. Okay. All right, uh, that's the result now. We can actually check by doing regular multiplication whether this is true. We can directly do that. Uh, I'm just going to take x square plus x plus one times x square plus one. Okay, this is x power four plus x square plus x cube uh, plus x plus x square plus one, okay? So the x square and x square will cancel out in g of uh, two. So we get essentially the same answer as this one, okay? So a couple of important things to note is that we take our polynomial a and we do right shift by one in every iteration. The reason is that when you do right shift, you're basically decreasing the um, degree of the polynomial by one. And uh, on the B hand, on the other hand, B, uh, we increase the polynomial degree by one by doing left shift. That means when you multiply uh, by increasing and decreasing the degree, you, the original value is the same. We don't change the, um, the degree of the polynomial because one is decreasing, another is increasing, therefore it's, it's perfectly fine. And the reason we do that is that uh, we can easily encode this as an algorithm. We write a little while loop until the A becomes zero. Uh, we keep uh, doing a right shift and we look at the least significant bit of A. If it is there, then we take the current B and add it to the current result. The result itself is in initialized to zero at the beginning. And this is how we can easily multiply two polynomials. So remember this, when we do right shift, right shift by one position, okay? This means uh, we are decreasing the um, polynomial degree by one. And when we do left shift by one position, uh, we increase the polynomial degree by one, okay? So that, that's the reason why I can just take the, I look at the least significant bit and I can just say, okay, if it is turned on, all of my bits uh, of B will be part of my result, but then I, I have to cancel out because in G of, G of, of two, um, if the same term occurs already in the result, we need to cancel out. That is the reason we do, uh, this result addition is actually exclusive or addition, okay? At the beginning, result is initialized to zero. As soon as you get the most significant, the least significant bit to be one, we copy the entire B, the current B to the result. And then moving forward, we keep doing exclusive R, okay? That's all. Now I can show you the, the actual code so you can get a feel for it. And we will also run a demo of this. Here's my code to multiply two polynomials A and B. Am um, I assuming A is greater than or equal to zero, B is greater than or equal to zero just to, uh, avoid any problems because the user is sending negative numbers. Okay, I'm using the regular right shift. This is this is logical right shift, not arithmetic. But if I put an assert statement that A is greater than or equal to zero, B, equal to, B is greater than or equal to zero, I'm simulating unsigned integers. If you're a C, C programmer, this is unsigned integer essentially. Okay. So I'm making an assumption here that both numbers are greater than or equal to zero, which is perfectly fine because polynomials in our case or Galois field polynomials, the coefficients have to be zero or one. Anyway, so I start with the result to be zero, as I explained on the whiteboard, and I check whether my A is not equal to zero. Okay, if A is equal to zero, I return result, okay, which is perfectly fine because zero times anything is zero. So now assume A is not equal to zero. I check the least significant bit is turned on or off. This is the definition, right? If you do a bitwise and with one, and if the least significant bit is turned on, you will get a one, otherwise you will get a zero. Okay, that means let's assume it is turned on. As I said earlier, we add uh, the current B with the result. This is a regular add, but only difference is it's GF of two add. And then we do a right shift of A by one and left shift by B by one. Um, this will take care of multiplying all the coefficients of A multiplied with all the coefficients of B. 